Women definitely have, uh, you know, distinct needs. Um, and fortunately, we're able to accommodate them, um, particularly in our CLC, uh, if they need rehab needs or have concerns, um, you know, have a need to have a short stay with us. So we definitely can accommodate them. So we see a lot of cancer uh, in the aging population. We see a lot of neurologic issues, a lot of autoimmune processes, you know, just the multitude of uh, different uh, medical um, ailments and, and women are affected just as much. What about the mental health uh, side for women? Yeah, I, I do think that we see, at least locally, we do see more women than men, or a higher proportion perhaps, coming to seek out care. About 9% of the, of the veterans that come to our facility are women. About 12% of our mental health patients are females. So we have a little bit higher proportion than that. Um, Dr. Morris suggested that there you know, some, are some things that, that are different for female vets, and I think, I think she's spot on about that. Um, two things that we, that, we, that we need to be able to do and do well. One is to create an environment that is welcoming to our female veterans. And sometimes that's, that's as simple as paying attention to the pictures we have on the wall, whether we have pictures of women veterans as well as our male veterans. Um, sometimes it's, it's changing the layout of an exam room so it's more accommodating for women or, you know, or, or, or providing on our inpatient psychiatric unit, for example, rooms where women can lock their doors if they feel uncomfortable. Staff can still get in in case of an emergency, but when they go to bed at night, they can lock their door and feel that, that safety and security. Um, the other thing we need to do is make sure that we're really doing a great job at treating conditions that are unique or more common among our women veterans. Um, just, just to give you one example of that, uh, both men and women in the military do experience military sexual trauma. Uh, but it is more common among women veterans and among men veterans, especially the ones that come forward and report and ask for help. So the VA needs to be great at providing trauma care that is specific and sensitive to the needs of our women veterans, including military sexual trauma. Thank you.